Welcome to The Leather Journey, I'm Dex. I'm just gonna title this video, Panes in the Stained Glass Window, okay? And what that means is, um, when you create a video that's about BDSM and leather, uh, and, you're, and it's instructional, and you're creating content for viewers, Okay, you have to show best practices and safe practices. And I was taught 25 years ago when I entered leather that you don't strike or do a technique or do any impact play through clothing because you don't know what you're doing to the skin. Consent is very important in the leather lifestyle. You don't do anything to anyone else or play with anyone else or touch anyone else or touch a toy bag or do anything without them being fully agreeable and consenting to it. So consent in the lifestyle is extremely important. Um, so if I negotiate with someone uh, that I'm not gonna leave any marks uh, when I play with them, then I have to actually be able to see the skin to know whether I'm you know, how hard I'm hitting, how their skin is responding to the technique, and whether I'm keeping true to what I negotiated. You can't do that if you leave the clothes on. So all these channels, you know, from my perspective in this, in looking through a stained glass window, all these channels that are leaving clothes on and spanking through clothes and demonstrating techniques uh, fully clothed, uh, aren't showing best practices. So from, from my perspective in the stained glass window, we want our channel to demonstrate at least what I consider best practices. The other pane in the stained glass window is you've got vanilla reviewers looking through and observing this content. And some of those viewers look at it and they see someone that's for, someone that's partially closed and they go, oh, that's sexually gratifying content. That's not allowed on YouTube, okay? Well, from my per perspective in the stained glass window, it isn't sexually gratifying. Uh, there's no full nudity. Whoever is the demo bottom is always wearing a thong. We're not showing uh, upper body nudity. Uh, everyone's partially closed. We're demonstrating a technique and it's clearly instructional if you take the time to listen to the video. The other pane in the stained glass window is looking through it and saying, oh, that's sexually gratifying content. Well, from my perspective in the stained glass window, I don't know what's sexually gratifying about it. There's, from the vanilla pane in the stained glass window, if that's sexually gratifying, then you're, you're a real weirdo and you've got some problems. And they're calling us in leather the weirdos, okay? To, for, this, for us, it's normal, okay? So there comes the problem, is the panes in the stained glass window. And how do you create content that's true to leather and true to your view that doesn't violate the view of someone looking through a different pane in the stained glass window. Very difficult to do. We make an attempt at the leather journey to do that. There's gonna be some changes on this channel, okay, moving forward, because I'm not gonna go through, you know, I, I, I watch um, Soft White Underbelly. I think it's a great channel. I think Mark Lady does a great job with that channel. He's going through some of the same things I'm going through on YouTube. He's got, you know, like a million subscribers. I've got a little over 10,000. So, uh, big guy versus little guy, but he's going through some of the same things. So moving forward, we're gonna make some changes and, and move some of our content to a private server so we don't get the, the drive-by shootings, I call it. You know, when someone drives by your channel and they don't like something they see and they report it, it has implications on your channel, okay? It's like a drive-by a drive -by viewer. We don't want drive-by viewers. We want viewers that are interested in the content 
interested in leather that take it seriously and we don't need comments from the peanut gallery, okay? Which is kind of what we've been getting. That's how we've been getting ourselves in trouble. And we don't actually need reviews from reviewers that are looking through the wrong pane in the stained glass window, which I'm convinced some YouTube reviewers are doing that because it's clearly not sexually gratifying. You know, I don't put a disclaimer up at the front of my videos uh, that, the, that the videos are in, instructional in, in intent because it's intuitively obvious to the most casual observer that my videos are instructional in intent. I'm not, not playing in my videos, I'm demonstrating a technique, I'm demonstrating, I'm doing an instructional component, okay? The, the transparent see-through try-on haul ladies from, from OnlyFans, they get up and they put up a disclaimer that says, oh, this is not sexually gratifying. And then they stand there fully nude, wearing a, a, a transparent dress. Now that is sexually gratifying, okay? But someone wearing a thong, wearing a maxi dress, and you show just enough skin to be able to demonstrate a technique, that's not sexually gratifying, at least from my pain in the stained glass window. So this is all talking about panes in the stained glass window. Which pane are you looking through? Are you looking through the, the pane that has rose-colored tinting, or are you looking through the pane that is green? or the clear paint. There's all different colors of paints. Okay, it makes things difficult. But the reality on the other side of the pain is that none of our demo bottoms are nude. They all are wearing thongs. None of them are showing upper body knotty bits or parts. And we're not, there is no active play in our videos, it's all instructional, okay? Now, once you take the truth of that and you look through a different pane in the stained glass window, you come up with many different things. I actually took the training that YouTube had developed for being able to understand their community guidelines and sexually explicit content. And to give you an example of panes in the stained glass window, they asked, seven questions. Out of the seven questions, I only have analyzed two of them correctly. Okay, why is that? Well, I've had a fair amount of education. I've got 105 graduate hours of education. I taught college for 17 years. Okay, I have a PhD, and out of seven questions, I answered two correctly. Now, why is that? That's because I'm looking through a different pane in the stained glass window than what they're looking through, okay? And I don't know that there's an answer to that. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna try. I don't purposely violate a community standard, but on the other hand, when I'm creating instruction for the leather journey, I'm trying to create uh, instruction that shows best practices and, and that's true of leather, okay? And that's the best I can do. Uh, we are gonna take, down the road, take the path that Soft White Underbelly took. Uh, I'm gonna, once I finish this next road trip, we're about to go on a road trip, yay. We're gonna get to go to Amarillo, Texas and to my grandson's birthday. Yes, I do have a vanilla life. Then we're gonna to go to Colorado Springs for a while and visit Moodstone's sister. Yay, we still have a vanilla life. Then we're gonna to get to go to Phoenix, Arizona for a weekend where I'm gonna to get to visit with some of my old friends that I've known for almost two decades. And I'm gonna to get to do workshops for Arizona Power Exchange. So when we return from all of them travels, um, I'm gonna take some time going to build a, a website, build a server, move most of this questionable content uh, over to the server 
And just like soft white underbelly, I'm gonna point people over there and say, hey, if you love us, show us a little love and leave a few pennies every month. It's not gonna be a large subscription price, but it's gonna be enough so that in retirement, I can pay the server fee and, uh, and break even at the end of the year. As always, we love everybody out there. We want you to show us some love. Subscribe, ring the bell, leave an appropriate comment. Share what your struggles have been with YouTube. If you're a YouTuber and you're kind of in a gray area and, uh, and somebody else is looking through a different pane in the stained glass window, uh, passing judgment on you or criticizing you, or uh, don't let anybody criticize what you do. If you do it with passion and with soul and with heart, uh, then follow your own path and, uh, and things will eventually work out for you. As always, thanks very much for watching and putting up with this lengthy video as I just kind of let off a little bit of steam. I hope it wasn't too negative. My intent wasn't to be negative, but just to share some of my thoughts about pains in the stained glass window, as always.